Well, hello, welcome to the channel and thanks for joining me. So I've got an unboxing video today. It's a fairly substantial box, I've got to say, pretty huge. I've got no idea at the time of recording what's in here. So I think best thing to do is just start slicing the, uh, the tape and seeing what, what there is. So it's not massively heavy. It doesn't seem, it doesn't seem that heavy, like a big old boom box or anything like that. But then again, it is a large box, so it spreads the load quite nicely. Anyway, here we go. We're not, not far off finding out now what it is. Okay. Right, well, have you ever seen such beautiful boxing, I have to say? Wow, look at this. That's been really, really nicely packaged. That's lovely. Um, good Lord. And instant as well, instant. Gosh, I only bought this like a day or two ago. I'll show you the main event in a moment. But we've got the original, got the original uh, cable there, the old two-way lead. That's fabulous, um, very nice. So let's just put this to one side. Sorry to get excited about the packaging, but we get so much stuff comes in. There's so much stuff that comes in, it's completely ruined. So what I'll do is I'll just bring you in for a slightly a slightly closer look here now. So we've got this beautiful old Iowa unit. Now the chap I bought it from, it was actually a listing online and it was the TPR200H and at the, at the time he wasn't prepared really to post it but it was such a lovely looking unit and quite rare that I thought actually, do you know what, it'd be great if I could get hold of it. Now, he was like about 130 miles away from where I lived and it wasn't really worth the drive, to be honest. On the other hand, he said it had been in the attic since like the 1980s or something like that. So I thought, well, do you know what? It's got to be worth a go. See if we can get it to work. So, yeah, this looks really nice. I've got to say it's um, it's a fair old size for a, you know, for, for a, a basic sort of radio cassette. It really is just the job. So you've got four band radio switch on there which feels really nice I've got to say volume and tone parts have got some really nice firm feel and resistance to them so they're a lovely quality you've got a loudness button which of course adds that extra bit of bass at lower volumes give it a bit more bite and then a very simple radio or tape master selector function selector switch there just so pretty it's very simple red record you know, you can see exactly what's going on with that. And then, yeah, looks really clean inside. Crikey, this really is nice. And I think it looks like it's a two-way speaker system. Let me just see. Yeah, I can see a tweeter cone glistening there. And that might not, that might sound obvious, but quite often you'll get false, you get false speakers, you know, and, and like faux, faux speakers and apertures, if you like. But this is actually a two-way speaker system. So very nice. Um, got external speaker out as well with the remote and you've got your microphone and you've got DC seven and a half volts and AC in. So there you go. Very nice too. Needs a bit of a clean, needs a polish. The chrome work, the chrome work needs a little bit of bringing back but I'm sure that will be fine. The same also for, for the aerial, which isn't bent, it's intact. It's got the white tip on the end and it locates nicely back into its receptacle there so that's great news i'll take a quick look actually at the battery compartment while i'm here there's something is rattling slightly in there but nothing major right okay evidence potentially of a bit of battery leakage a tiny little bit of rusty sort of discoloration there but nothing nothing major nice little leatherette textured surface inside battery terminals do have a little bit of oxidization there but i'm sure nothing we can't sort out got the original caution sticker as well on there in lovely condition it's not faded or lifted or anything like that do you know what i reckon we'll be able to really bring this back it's lovely so yeah see it does say it there actually four band two-way speaker system so that is correct wow yeah so whatever is rattling around in there i'm hoping isn't too bad it's not it doesn't seem too too uh ominous Fantastic. Yeah, I'm a bit lost for words because quite often, in fact, more often than not, when we do the unboxing videos, there'll be a bit of a horror story behind it. And later on, I'll go back and um, 
and try these things out and they're a mess this one actually looks really nice so i'm really pleased with it but please do subscribe and hit the notifications bell for updates because i will be plugging it in soon i'll be testing it out just to see what functions do and don't work and then we'll give it a service give it a good old clean up and yeah we'll plug it in and have a proper listen to it so that's all i've got for you today but please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel we've got all sorts of cool retro gear on here so in the meantime all the best for now bye bye